looks like a good one. That's all five samples. I should get these down real. But I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people. Likely due to the fact it's not actually mold or even of this dimension. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold or fungus because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know, except perhaps bacteria. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. Did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail? I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless... Yes. If you found mold people, you found my rangers. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. Now leave me to it. Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh, sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. The Bureau wants to control, not comprehend. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. I need to get going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. My family no had black mold that. once. Leech did the trick. <gasps> I finished synthesizing the samples. Ingest this pill. Then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. So you promise I won't end up walking around covered in mold? Oh, the pill will prevent any biological infection by the mold. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Oh, honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. So is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. 
I was employed here for a time, straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened? About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. Be careful Goodbye down there. For now. We don't want to have to come save you. Seriously. What is it then? This must be the pit Underhill was talking about. Captain note 7.25. Ramsey, Ranger Captain note 7.25. Underhill sent us down this weird ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables sprout. I will say this uh, it smells delicious. Five. Underhill sent us down this weird ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables sprout. I will say this.
Ramsey, Ranger Captain. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, note 7.28. Uh, wait, uh, 6, 7, uh, whatever. Still in the thresh mold. I'll be straight up eating the vegetables now, because, well, why not? Mom said, eat your vegetables. Eat too many and your skin will turn green. Green like Ollie's. <laughs> hey, Ollie, what'd you find now? Then note 7.28. Uh, wait, uh, 6, 7, eight, eight, eight. Still in the threshold. Ollie's still in the Vegetables, eat too many of your skin will turn green. Good night, Ollie's. Hey! It's kind of pretty. I need to stop being surprised by all the weird shit in this place. <laughs>